Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to our YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So this is our 33rd Pyspark interview question video. So if you have not seen our earlier video, you can go through that and you will able to learn lots of interview level questions okay and how to solve that how to take the approach after seeing the question and all okay you will able to understand okay so I, I would recommend you please watch the whole series of this Spiceberg interview see Spiceberg interview and SQL series also uh, if you are preparing for the uh, multiple companies interview data engineering interviews okay so let's go today we'll see uh, the one of the interview question not one uh, here today we'll discuss two interview question one is SQL and one is for PySpark okay which was asked in impetus technologies okay for the data engineering technical round so let's go before going to that I want to introduce our YouTube channel cognitive coders so this is our YouTube channel there are lots of video if you are preparing for uh, for interview you can go through our channel if you want to learn Azure Data Factory you, that also, for that also we have playlist for PySpark Databricks also we have dedicated playlist okay so just visit and see if you think it is useful you can go through the video okay so um, let's come to our today's topic so this is the impetus technologies first question uh, the PySpark question what they ask so they ask uh, the find the difference between the price on each day with its previous day okay so what they have given so have they have given some flight IDs flight names price and price date okay so each and a every day the price date uh, price date is uh, just um, changing okay some uh, so we we have already seen that so today if if something price is 7000 tomorrow if if that of uh, the uh, the uh, whatever uh, based on the based on the day wise if it is a holiday th and then then uh, the price rate w the price will be high because lots of people will travel lots of people will uh, take the tickets mm, but when demand is less that time the price less is get price whatever price it is usually the it is uh, got down from that that price so this this changing uh, so this changing uh, we need to measure okay so basically find the difference between the price uh, of on each day with its previous day so from its previous day today's price how it is different that thing we need to match sometimes uh, you can see before indigo it was 7000 next day next fifth on 5th january it was uh, 7500 for 10th it is uh, 7100 it got reduced so like this so we start also like the same so for individual flight uh, we need to get the uh, thing get the thing okay so how we'll mm, do that let's see I have written the code okay so we'll go through it uh, one by one and we'll try to understand the uh, code okay so for saving the time I have already written the code okay so let's go so let's run this cell so what I am doing here so whatever functions it is needed I have imported okay so let's go so here what we are doing we are creating one window over flight ID so based on flight ID and uh, we are creating one window and order by would be price date okay so and based on that we are getting the lag price for for each and every date so for indigo only what is f uh, what is the mm, price on uh, the last date of 5th January 5th January if uh, today's date is 5th January then last day what was so last last indigo was run on 1st January so 1st January what was your its rate so like this so we are getting this 
for one there is nothing uh, this 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 lack function i have used in my earlier questions also you can go through that and you can understand there i have this i've discussed um, briefly how to use leak lag like this okay so i'm getting this uh, this previous day price so now we need to get the difference so for that we are just performing this code okay so we are getting the difference you can see so what we are doing we are doing nothing but just you are taking one new column and wherever the column uh, we are using the when 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 otherwise condition wherever the column previous date wherever the, sorry previous price wherever it is null we are wherever it is null we are considering the price for only price okay we are considering the um, price difference only the price because it doesn't have previous date so we'll consider only this price okay for th for th uh, for this day price difference okay and wherever wherever we we have value the previous date which day we have value the previous day value that time we are just performing the this minus this okay so next so uh, we are taking only the absolute value because if if we will perform uh, if we will perform uh, this minus this we will get negative value so just uh, to ignore that we are taking the absolute value say so using the abs function and this is the price difference okay so the uh, i think you you are able to understand uh, so each and every day the previous day's price different uh, difference we are getting okay so next next to uh, or you can uh, we can do one uh, another thing also if uh, if uh, wherever it is is null wherever it is null so th uh, for that only we can consider price difference null also i am not considering i am considering it uh, with price only okay so the based on requirement you, you have to understand for impetus technologies they have their output uh, table was like this output data was like this that's why we we have we did it okay like this we we, we solved this up with, with this approach if you have another approach you can um, comment on the video comment section so that everybody can see that the next question next sql question write a query to count the number of occurrence of hello world in the text this will be case sensitive hello and world should be counted when they are placed together means when they are like this only only one space between between them we have okay when we have only one space that time we will consider it hello world otherwise we will not consider there is another another world hello hello world also here but we can't consider because between hello and world there is two spaces you can see okay so how to do that how many hello world is uh, uh, there we need to um, we need to um, get it okay so it is a simple thing so this is the, this is the um, this is the text data in your table so we just write to write one code here select length of value minus length of rejects replace value wherever it is hello world will just consider 
consider it with a str uh, with empty string okay and this length uh, you need to get it and after that we need to divide it length of whatever string you are tacking hello world as uh, as what I can say count okay as count will take it uh, as uh, uh, count of hello world okay count of hello count of hello world from there is a typo just we are getting one so what we are doing we are first taking we are first taking the whole strings length whatever text uh, text document we have the whole length we are considering then we are what wherever we have hello world we are just replacing with the uh, we are just uh, replacing with empty string okay and after that mm, we are getting the uh, the difference between their length and just dividing it with the uh, length of hello world then we are getting the how, how many hello world we have replaced that that thing we are getting so here only we have mm, one spaces hello world one in this text document okay but, uh, whatever text we have so that's why we are getting one so this is and this is this kind of uh, uh, some what I can say this kind of uh, technical question we will get uh, the this impetus tiger analytics and this kind of data related company where the main main uh, main work is uh, uh, data related work or generative AI or um, ML related work the we, we will get okay this kind of for this kind of company this kind of tricky question you will get if you are performing for your interview you can follow our youtube channel there are lots of this kind of youtube question this kind of question i have discussed in my first book interview series or scenario based interview question or a sql interview question also i have discussed how to solve it in sql okay so only dedicated dedicated to sql few few problems i have discussed here you can go through that okay so hope you 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 are liking our video if you are like liking our video please please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel because uh, we are getting views we, you guys are watching our video but uh, you you guys are not mm, giving any comment not doing like so please 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 do like share and subscribe our youtube channel without liking or without commenting if you will not give a feedback to us we will not able to understand that uh, what we need to improve okay day by day we are trying to improve uh, our video our content okay yeah i am requesting you guys please do comment so that uh, so that we can understand the, that where we are lagging if we are lagging some somewhere we can we can we, we will try to improve to give you the content that in the uh, and we you can also uh, suggest that this kind of question we should we should uh, uh, we should come come with uh, in our video so uh, please please do comment and please stay with us thank you for watching our video bye